this guy pulls out and I you know, he's, he's a big old boy I was trying to help him and it looks like his uh well now he's gonna try to rock it again his brakes locked up on the uh on the driver's side of the trailer but the passenger side is fine and he pulled out and that's that's where he sits up there in front of us, man, he, uh, his damn airlines, he said it was, uh, his brakes froze up, I tried to tell him that I think it was, yeah, he had a pretty bad leak, but, you know, I'm not one to tell someone what's going on, you know, and he finally, uh, after about an hour and a half, him, like, rocking back and forth, and comes up to me and he's like hey you think if I put this alcohol in it'll work oh, are you kidding me man so I like give me that bottle <laughs> we put the bottle in I dumped like half that bottle in in like two minutes man he was ready to roll so let me go seal this thing up real quick slide these tanos and we'll get rolling here Man, two hours, man, two hours. Man, so that dude, whoa, that dude had more of a problem than, you know, I don't know. I tried to tell him, sounded like he had a pretty good leak. But I don't know, I was kind of, I didn't even really think about the whole alcohol thing, but once he put it in, man, crap loosened right up man it's like dude why didn't you why didn't you use that freaking hour and a half ago man uh, that's all right man he's rolling now so that's all that matters the only problem is now <laughs> we're going to the same place so i gotta see make sure i don't run into this dude again man that's what the the, the shipper here i gave they gave me my paperwork and they told me and they're like, yeah, well, just watch out. A couple, you know, when we do. Hello? Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, we got loaded. Uh, he, they just, I don't know if he just worked me in or, or what, but, you know loaded now so yeah he said my appointment wasn't until 7 and I told him that you know the convoy thing said like between 12 and 7 and he says well we don't do those we go by appointment I said okay well I'm sorry you know but he we're loaded now so that's all that matters man all right well all right ah sorry about that old convoy calling I don't even know where I was at now. He done, he done messed me all up. But, uh, yeah. Ah, forget it. Let's get out of here. I don't even know what the heck I was talking about. <clears throat> yeah, so it was like the alcohol thing. It's like, dude, why didn't you bring that out, like, you know, a while back? I don't know. So this one, 120. Well, 
gonna deliver oh yeah yeah so they said that he delivers the same place i'm delivering like like a half hour in between so i was like oh man so i need to get to this place before he does well hopefully he'll get he'll get his stuff figured out before he gets there dang man so we're gonna try to get up to glendale kentucky it's petro just about 300 miles since we don't deliver till tuesday and actually, I called them. <clears throat> and told them, I was like, I can be there, you know, tomorrow. I'm like, oh, no, your appointment's for Monday or Tuesday morning. All right. Roundabouts. Roundabouts. What are they called? Traffic. Oh, dang, I forget. Traffic. I can't remember. So we just got to get over to 65. So we're going to take 75. What is it? 75 to 71 to 65. Old Glendale, Kentucky, at the Petro. It's pretty good. Pretty good sized Petro, so we should be all right. We should probably be there about, I don't know, six, seven ish, around there somewhere. And we can get fuel there in the morning, so work out perfect. Another cool thing about this load, they said it was empty aluminum cans, 20,000 pounds. So I'm like, oh, they're probably not like the, you know, like usually it's like the beer or soda cans, I get. But these are, uh, I thought they may be like, you know, like regular like soup cans or vegetable cans. I mean, that's why it weighed a little bit more. Nope, just regular old beer cans. 7,000 pounds. I just want to get away from all this, man, because it's a little windy. And we're light. So it was fun, interesting coming over here. We were empty. Kind of got pushed a couple times, so. All right. We've talked enough. <laughs> We'll check in when we get to the Petro, or if we decide to stop earlier. <laughs> All right, our day is just about done here. Exit number 86, that's us, I-65. Exit 86. Glendale, Kentucky, yeah. so bad getting around everything today no snow on the ground over here <laughs> oh so, I'm not too sure about that we're going this way man we drove through Cincinnati man there was so much they, they had they got a crap ton of snow man there was there was cars in the dish trucks in the side there were man <clears throat> Right before I got to this exit, <laughs> you know who I seen? My buddy from earlier couldn't slide his tandems. Mr. Air Leak, man, he about blew my freaking doors off, man. <laughs> that old Freightliner was cruising, man.
go Freightliner Classic, man. He was he was moving, man. I know I can get a parking spot here. Probably gonna have to park in the back. That's all right though. Look at all these paid parking spots. I guess like I guess I just get used to parking somewhere it's already like in my mind like oh I gotta park somewhere over here like right here like by the grass for Leia <laughs> Leia's not here oh yeah we're good look at all these parking but I'm still gonna park over here about this one this one look good what do you think oh there's a trailer there oh it's a drop swift trailer swift swift kicking the how about there how about here next to prime ah box truck got me Steal them the parking spots. Well, not really. <clears throat> Basically stole my ideas, right? Is this a parking spot? I don't know, what do you think? No, that's not a parking spot. Oh, this guy's like, what's this guy doing? Ah, move. You're going the wrong way anyway. Oh, he probably found him. This is my parking spot. What do we got here? We got anything? Anybody hiding back there? Turn your headlights off. Turn his headlights on. I know he had his lights on, parking lights. I mean, I understand that. It kind of helped me, but like right when I go to back up, he turns his high beams on. It's like, calm down, man. I'm not the one doing the damage. I swear it wasn't me. I got proof. No. <laughs> We got enough room. We good. We're good. Backing up. Almost there. All right, we're good. Man, what a 
the day. Actually, it wasn't even that bad. Who am I trying to kid? Off duty. Come on. There we go. Yeah. What a old Glendale Petro. We got like under a quarter of take. Get some fuel in the morning. We'll be good to go. So, uh, yeah, kind of an uneventful day. Pretty quiet, but um, we'll end her here from Glendale, Kentucky. Petro. What do we got here? Got some brand new trucks on there. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Thank you. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until next time.